There are loads of schemes here in the UK to support your renewable journey, to make it more affordable. It could even be free. Now, the purpose of this video is to help you navigate all of the avenues and make sure you take advantage of any funds that are available to you. And also, so you don't end up with tat like this put on your roof just because it's free. So watch the video till the end and take as much information as you can from it. One of the most common questions we get asked here at Heatable about solar and battery systems is, are there any grants available? What is the government gonna do to support my renewable journey? Well, the answer is yes, there is a form of grant and it comes via a reduction in VAT. So right now, a solar system, a solar system with a battery or a battery on its own is VAT free. Now that does represent a 20% saving. So a 10,000 system, System would normally be £12,000, but we're not going to get charged that VAT, so we save that £2,000 per system. Now, if you spend more, you save even more on the VAT, and if you spend less, you still save 20%. So, the answer is yes, you do get something towards it because they charge VAT on pretty much everything else. Now, it's not unreasonable to assume that everyone doesn't have £10,000 to fit solar and battery on their property. It's a lot of money and people don't really have access to that sort of cash. Well, not everyone anyway. So what do you do if you're a low income family? Well, there are some government schemes. You've got something called Eco4. This was a fund that's put together from energy companies. So everyone who has an energy bill pays a small levy this levy is collected, it's put into a pot and it's distributed via energy companies to fund retrofit solutions. So solar systems, batteries, air source heat pumps. Now, to qualify for this, you have to be on certain benefits or you have to meet certain criteria, but this criteria is pretty fixed. So what the government is doing is pledging as of April 2025 to help a further 170,000 people who don't qualify for Eco4 but might qualify for something called the Greener Homes Plan. Now there isn't a huge amount of detail available for this scheme so we can't give you too much information but there is an outline proposal on the government website so if you want to find out more then head over there and check that that out. Now what if you don't actually have to fund and fit those solar panels? Well there is new legislation coming to support the adoption of renewable technologies on new build properties. Now we do already see this but it's really just like a cursory gesture. I look at new builds all the time, I look up at the roof and they've got like three solar panels and I'm thinking well if they're connected there's not going to be enough startup voltage and secondly, they're probably not connected. And even if they were, what would they do? So the government is trying to address this under something called the Future Homes Standard. Now this is a framework which sets out a minimum criteria for homes to make them more eco-friendly, to make them more independent, less reliant on the grid. So if you're gonna buy a new build or you're gonna have work done on your property, you're gonna to have to adhere to the Future Home Standard and that is going to incorporate solar panels, air source heat pumps and batteries. Now, if you are looking to buy a new build, then you're not going to have to fund these solar panels separately to the purchase of the house. But it probably is built in and you're probably going to pay more for the house. So it's not free, but at least you're not seeing the cash wash out. You can separate it out amortize it over a mortgage. Another area of government support is SEG. This is Smart Export Guarantee. Now this is legislation that mandates energy companies to pay a minimum rate for any energy which is exported to the grid. Now there are rumors flying around at the moment that under the government's warmer homes plan that they are gonna mandate a higher level of payment back to homeowners for exported energy. Now it's probably not going to be as high as some of the rates that are already paid in market. Someone like British Gas is paying 15 pence per kilowatt hour if you are one of their energy customers. But if we see a minimum rate set at 10 or 12 pence, that does change the market for everybody else and make systems even more affordable. So what about funding your project if you don't have the cash? Well, there are various options available. Now one of them is available through Heatable because we have 0% APR on all of our solar and battery packages. So if you are looking to fund a project and you don't want to pay APR, we can help. Aside from this, check out your mortgage provider because lots of mortgage providers are trying to assist homeowners 
in funding renewable projects because they are also targeted by the government to reduce the carbon emissions of their portfolio, their asset book. So if they own half of your property because you have a 50% mortgage, they're actually going to be responsible for 50% of the emissions on that property. So we're starting to see incentives come through the market. Someone like Barclays is offering £500 towards a solar system and other lenders, I can't name them, do 0% APR accelerators or extensions to your existing mortgage products. So if you want to borrow £15,000, they will give you a top up loan on top of your mortgage, which is charged at no interest. So well worth checking out. Now, what if you are one of those lucky folk that does actually have the cash? Well, there are incentives for you too. And that comes from tax breaks because any energy that you produce domestically, locally on your property is yours. You'll consume it on site or you'll export it under SEG, Smart Export Guarantee. And that is a saving, but you're not going to pay income tax on that. Now, when you compare this to other products in market, there is advantages to doing a solar and battery project when it comes to tax. So think about £10,000 for a solar system. If you put that in a scheme today, let's say you secure a rate, you lock it away and you get 5%. So you're gonna earn 500 pounds a year on that money. Now at the end of every year, 31st of January, you're gonna do a self-assessment and you're gonna declare what interest you've had and you're gonna pay tax at your income tax rate on that money. With a solar system, if your energy bill is £1,500 a year, it's about right here in the UK, you put a solar system on and that saves you £1,000, well, your £10,000 investment is now earning 10%. And on top of that, there is no income tax to pay. So a lot of consumers, a lot of customers of Heatable buy systems purely on the economics when it comes to return on investment and also to not pay tax to the government. So there you have it. It's not free for everyone, but there are incentives. And if you don't take advantage of these incentives, then they could be taken away at any point. The government could reintroduce VAT on solar systems, on batteries. They could start charging income tax on savings or returns from a system. And APR finance might not be around forever. So now is the time to invest in solar. And if you want to start your journey, then the first thing you need to do is head over to heatable.co.uk get a free quote, there's no obligation, and see if it works for you.